Greetings to all. Uh, we are going to see about the Dynamics Lab experiments, the experiment ProL Governor. And the Dynamics Laboratory objective is, it is the lab refers to study the simulation system of motion based on the forces acting on it. And the experiments to, uh, to enhance the knowledge of force analysis in dynamic system to improve the understanding of inertial effects. And this lab covers the basic concepts of kinematic machine and dynamics of machines. And the ProL governor, the aim of uh, experiment is to determine the controlling force of the governor and draw the following characteristic curve. One is speed versus sleeve displacement and force versus radius of rotation. And apparatus required for this experiment, universal governor apparatus, non-contact type tachometer. And the function of governor is to regulate the mean speed of engine when there are variations in the load. Uh, the load of engine increases, speed decreases, so it is necessary to increase the supply of working fluid. Vice versa, when the load of engine decreases, speed increases, so uh, the supply of working fluid should be less. And the governor is automatically controls the supply of working fluid to the engine with the varying load conditions and maintain the speed with certain limits and the governors may be class classified as centrifugal governors and inertia governors and the proel governor is one type of the centrifugal governor and the centrifugal governor works on the principle of centrifugal force which gets applicable on the rotating balls and the balls which are all used as a fly balls which is attached by means of a links the balls rotate the spindle which rotate the engine through a bevel gear the upper ends of arm pivoted to the end spindle so that the balls may rise up or fall down. They are revolve about the vertical axis. And the arms are connected with the links to sleeve which is key to the spindle. And the sleeve revolves with the spindle but can slide up and down motions. The balls of the sleeve rises when the spindle speed increases and when the balls when the speed decreases. And this controls the throttle wall thus regulating the fuel intake of the engine hence controlling the speed and the proel governor fly balls are attached upward extension of the link and central load is attached to the sleeve and this uh, figure shows that the proel governor and the balls are attached with the external links centrally the load is acting on the proel governor and the formula for calculating the proel governor values height h is equal to h naught minus x by 2 and alpha is equal to cos inverse of h by l in terms of degree and the radius of rotation r is equal to 0.05 plus l sin alpha angular velocity omega can be calculated 2 by n by 60 radian per second and controlling force f is equal to w by g omega square into r and this video you can understand the pro l governor setup And the arms are fixed into the proel governor. The setup is uh, proper linkages can be connected by means of the governor apparatus. Arranging the setup by using the proper linkages and tightening the bolts and nuts properly and by using external links which is connected by means of the balls fly balls are connected by means of the external links and checking with proper tightening of the bolt and nuts both the sides of the governor and so sleeve is fixed and when you rotate the when you rotate the governor apparatus when the speed is increases the slide moves the sleeve moves uh, upward directions when the reduce the speed of governor it downwards and falls on the sleeve. The animation you can view in clearly for the proel governor. Switch on the supply and increasing the speed slowly by using the governor apparatus. When we increase the speed and the balls and sleeves are rises, when the spindle speed increases 
and uh, when we reduce the spindle speed it falls on the balls and uh, decreases the sleeve height here when we increasing the speed which increases the sleeve height and by using a tachometer we can measure the spindle rpm from this video you can clearly understand when we increase the speed which rises the sleeve upwards when we decrease the speed the sleeve will downwards when we reduce the speed by using a tachometer we can measure the spindle speed rpm when we reduce the speed it decreases and falls down the sleeve when we decrease the speed which reduces the sleeve height and there is a procedure for uh, proel governor arranging the setup and tightening the bolt switch on the supply and uh, when we increase the speed which increases the sleeve height when we decrease the speed which decreases the or falls down the sleeve and this is the tabulation for the proel governor speed sleeve displacement height radius of rotation angular velocity controlling force and this is a model calculation of the readings for the proel governor and the speed 311 sleeve displacement 0.024 meter and height 0.088 meter and radius of rotation 0.138 and angular velocity 32.56 radian per second controlling force 8.62 kg alpha is equal to 41.92 degree and these are all the values radius of rotation angular velocity and rolling force and alpha values are calculated by using this formula and the model calculation is shown here for calculating h values alpha values r values and omega and finally controlling force and after calculating the model calculation we have to draw the characteristic curves for the proel governor and thank you thank you for watching